Now I love historical space missions that expose space. And Expedition 39 is another one of those missions that do just that. Expose space. I'm at Wiki. Let's just have a quick peep here. Expedition 39 was the 39th expedition of the ISS. It marked the first time the ISS had been under the command of a Japanese astronaut, spaced veteran Koyuchi Wakata. So it was the first time ever the ISS had a Japanese commander. Fantastic. Uh, and as we can see here, as I scroll down a bit further, this was back in the day before the SpaceX pantomime got going and the astronauts were supposedly going to the ISS via the Russian Soyuz rocket, which most of the time came out of Baikonur. And in case you're wondering where the Soyuz rocket goes, I've done a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. It gives quite an interesting look at where the Soyuz rocket ends up. Uh, yeah, you might find that interesting. I'll leave a link in the description for the Sawyer's rocket and where that ends up, um, in case you're wondering. But essentially, this mission, of course, ties in Russia. They supposedly go into space from Russia. Ties in Japan, because there's a Japanese leader of the International Space Station. And, of course, ties in America as well. So let's have a look. Bear with me. Now, what I love about the first clip is... The commander of the ISS, Koyuchi Wakata, is going to go by here in the background on a harness. It would seem NASA and their special effects team forgot to erase the harness on the back of Koyuchi and as a result expose one of the techniques these people use. And we also get some glitching of the hat here, matey boys holding at the end. We'll watch the footage just as it is and then we're going to zoom in and see the commander of the ISS give the game away, albeit harness, pantomime style. So let's have a look. We could always go look out the cupola windows, and if you're uh, if you're really good at geography, which is not easy up there, I'll tell you. Right, get ready for Koichi, the commander of the International Space Station, a Japanese hero, is about to go by in the background here on a harness. And then, of course, watch the hat then after that as it glitches out. Oh, yeah. Looking down at the Earth on a cloudy day, it's kind of hard to tell where you are. But if you can make out some of the land masses, you can recognize them. And then the other way is we have a computer program that, that uh, displays our trajectory on the world. And we call it World Map. So you can easily look at any of the computers here on the space. So we had Koichi going by, the commander of the ISS going by on a harness. And then we had a hat glitching out. The guy's arm glitched out as well. But we're going to zoom in here because there's obviously issues here. One with the commander of the ISS being on a harness when he's supposed to be in a weightless environment. And two, the hat there. And of course, we know they use augmented reality. The hat's glitching out. And there's a bit of an issue, an issue with the other chap there on the left. But as we're about to see in a minute with the hat, it's kind of going to give the game away even more. But let's, let's look at Koyuchi, the commander of the ISS, exposed this silly pantomime. Bear with me. So I've zoomed in on the scene. Obviously, Koyuchi is going to be the star of this in the background, the commander of the ISS on the harness. And then, of course, pay particular attention to the hat glitching out here. It's on loop. I'll play it a couple of times, stop it, and then we'll look at the next clip where the hat really gives the game away. Well, it's bad enough with the commander being on a harness. So let's have a look. We could always go look out the cupola windows, and if you're uh, if you're really good at geography, which is not easy up there, I'll tell you, looking down at the earth on a cloudy day, it's kind of hard to tell where you are. But if you can make out some of the land masses, you can recognize them. And then the other way is... We it's not good when you've got a Japanese hero and the commander of a so-called space station, when he's supposed to be in a weightless environment passing by, he's actually got a harness on his back and would seem like a circus-style setup. It's not really a good day, chaps. We have a computer program that, that uh, displays our trajectory on the world, and we call it World Map. Get ready for the glitching hat. 
so you could easily look at any of the computers here on the space and it'll come around again now so first we have the legend that is Koichi, the commander of the ISS, giving it away circus style. And then we've got a glitching hat. We could always go look out the cupola windows. And if you're, uh, if you're really good at geography, which is not easy up there, I'll tell you, looking down at the earth on a cloudy day, it's kind of hard to tell where you are. But if you can make out some of the land masses, you could recognize them. And then the other way is we have a computer program that that uh, displays our trajectory on the world, and we call it World Map. So you could easily look at any of the computers here in the space. That is shocking, lads. These lads supposedly got there on the Russian rocket. They're now there, and we've got a Japanese hero in the background exposing this pantomime by being on a harness. And the guy at the front here who got there on the Ru Russian rocket, supposedly, has a hat that's glitching out. It's going to get even worse. Bear with me. Now, obviously, the hat here is the party trick, augmented. We've already seen it glitching out. And what we see here is them playing with it. Mate, you on the right generally controlling the hat, but let's it go. Our pal here on the left kind of loses track of where the hat is. And as a result, grabs nothing and puts it on the wall where he was supposedly going to grab the hat he misses grabs nothing and puts nothing on the wall so just watch it it'll play on loop again for a couple of times it'll come round, and you'll be to see the build-up to this silly pantomime and the fact that he's lost track of where it is he didn't look at the screen to find out where it is and as a result missed the augmented hat put nothing on the wall and in doing so made himself look a bit of a clown and again exposed this silly pantomime for the charade that it is. So let's have a look. That's another tough one. I mean, there's many beautiful, remarkable things to see when you look out the cupola. I guess. So the focus here is the hat. Okay. Matey in the green top here is going to lose track of the hat in a second and grab nothing thinking he's got the hat. Of course, exposing this augmented nonsense. So far for me, uh, I like the the, uh, the waters, the shallow waters in the Caribbean or the atolls in south uh, east of Pacific are just beautiful. There's this blue, this aqua that comes up against the... That was shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. He's realized now, he's looked at the screen and realized the hat's still there. <laughs> yeah, you might want to cross-reference before you entertain yourself and star in your own city pantomimes, pal. Even your mate in the blue is not impressed with that. So let's come back. As you were supposedly meant to grab the hat. You missed it. And the augmented or augmented reality hat is still there. We love it. And again. That's another tough one. I mean, there's many beautiful and remarkable things to see when you look out the cupola. I guess so far for me... Uh, I like the the, uh, the waters, the shallow waters in the Caribbean or the atolls in the south uh, east of Pacific are just beautiful. There's this blue, this aqua that comes up again. Yeah, that was a bad day, lads. Really bad day. Augmented fails. The captain or commander of the space station flying by on our harness when he's supposed to be in a weightless environment. And you guys were supposed to have left from Russia to have got there. So you've got Russia here involved in his pantomime. Japan involved in his pantomime, commanding his pantomime. As he went by full pantomime style on his harness. And of course, we got the Americans as well. Showing they're all in on it. But it shouldn't be a surprise. Because demonstrable reality tells you the globe's scientifically impossible. So quite obviously, they're all in on it. And they're actually showing you they're all in on it. On the space stuff they show you. You just got to pay attention. Oh, dear.